Luke was getting a bath. Wow. Getting clean and ready. All right, it's time for Vico to go to the vet. He's going to go, oh, he's letting himself out. He's gonna have a surgery today to get his cyst removed. So, get ready to go, okay? Well, it turns out we're getting quite the snowstorm. Uh, I think we've gotten beyond the one to three inches. I think we're on the five inches. At, now I gotta go pick up Vigo at the vet. So I think he made it through his surgery well, got the call. Now it's time to go pick him up, but it's gonna be a little greasy out there on the roads. All right, when I came home this morning with, from bringing Vigo to the vet, the steps were clear. Looks like another almost three inches. So I think we're getting close to the six inch mark of total snow so far today. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get out there now and go get Vigo. Yikes. I see, the Jeep's doing pretty good. They plowed our road up to the bus stop, but always the last mile to our house is not plowed. Eh, four or five inches on the road, maybe a lot of tire tracks, so it's not bad. But uh, definitely feel a lot more comfortable than back in the days when I had the Mini Cooper, because that almost was just a big experiment to see if you could make it back home. Well, anyway, still going up. See how the driveway is, because there will be only one set of tracks. <laughs> so. I've got it in four-wheel drive snow setting. Yeah. So Brian might have fun when he gets home because yesterday he actually took the snow blower off the tractor, <laughs> moved the tractor and did not put it back on. So uh, we got we definitely got some snow here, folks. This is an unplowed driveway, four wheel drive. One set of tire tracks, six inches of snow. We're doing it, we're doing it. Got my precious cargo in the back. Yeah, he's doing all right. He's doing all right. Okay, I guess I won't park in front of the snowblower. Okay, big go. Ready to go back inside? Ooh. Look at all the snow when you were gone. Yeah, it snowed a lot. Whoops, let me drop the mitten. Mmm, well, we definitely have six inches. That's where my car was parked before it left. <laughs> and it's still snowing hard. Ooh, a lot on the roof. Oh, stairs are buried again. Okay. the way back on your bigger chair. Just everything right with the world when you're on your chair. Fireplace. Well, on snowy cold days, I like making warm meals, so I'm gonna work on a homemade chicken soup. And hopefully I can have that done before Brian gets back. I just told him that there's probably gonna be eight inches of snow by the time he gets home. So a lot more snow came than the one to three inches that they predicted, which is funny because it was, they were predicting one to two feet on the other side of the continental divide. The Western part of Colorado got hammered. So I was like, I can't believe we're only getting one to three inches. Well, we're getting more. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to get all the snow blowing though because it's gonna be dark by the time Brian gets home. But So I'm just using chicken breast, but I'm gonna uh, brown it first. I'm gonna dredge it in flour and brown it so I can kind of get like a thicker, thicker um, broth. And then for flavor, you need to have cabbage. So I actually, I picked up a cabbage today at the grocery store and I'm also gonna use up a little bit of this 
um, cabbage salad greens because it has like some kale and some Brussels sprouts, so it's going to give it kind of like that cabbage flavor. Uh, I'd like to put carrots in there. So you got your carrots, um, green beans chopped, pretty good. These are frozen, and then like a can of tomatoes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut up this chicken breast into little bite-sized pieces. And then I'm gonna kinda stir fry them a little bit in the pan with some flour and kinda get them all coated. And then I'm gonna put them in the big pot so they can be um, cooked through a little bit more tender. But the flour is gonna help make that broth a little bit thicker, like I said. So the goal here is just little bite-sized pieces. And then next I'm gonna sprinkle it with flour. I'm using white wheat flour. This has a little bit more fiber in it, but not as gritty as brown whole wheat. Okay. And then I'm gonna chuck these into my cast iron pan, which is already heating up. There's already a little bit of oil in the pan from before. I chop up a little bit of cabbage for flavor. Also getting out my chicken broth. Because now I'm gonna start adding my ingredients. So turning it back on again. Fill it with broth. And one can of diced tomatoes. That adds a little bit more liquid as well. And now I'm going to add my cabbage. I'm going to add the rest of this sweet kale salad. This is a really nice um, crunchy salad. There's not quite enough left for, a, for another bowl of salad, so I'm just going to add it to the soup. Got some more leftover veggies. I've got potatoes from last week, diced up, so these are gonna go in. Potatoes and sweet potatoes. Now it's time for the green beans. I'm just gonna put in half the bag. You know, I'm actually gonna chop up one small onion and three carrots. is getting full, full of veggies. And I'm gonna add my chicken. Just gonna stir it up a little bit. It's very, very full, so I'm gonna put some more water in and then I'm gonna talk about seasonings. Add about three more cups of water. So since I used low sodium chicken broth, it's not gonna taste very salty or super seasoned, so I like to add in a few other things. Use a little bit of granulated garlic. Not too much, just a little bit. I like this um, pink Himalayan salt and herb blend. It's got a little bit of crushed red peppers, it's got a little bit of salt, it's got a little bit of, um, let's see, garlic, basil, oregano, and it adds a, a nice kick to soups. So I'll put some of that in. Teaspoon, and then this is, <laughs> One of my favorite ones, this is the McCormick Sweet and Smoky. And I just like the flavor of it. It just has a little bit of a smoky flavor, so put a little bit of that in as well. And then I'll put a lid on it, let it kind of boil, and then I'll take it down to a simmer and gosh, in an hour it'll be delicious. It's still snowing pretty good out there. It's getting dark. It's still coming down. All right, I gotta go check on Vigo. I haven't really sat down with him since he came inside from his surgery. So he's on his chair. He went straight to his chair. I was asking him how he's doing. I said, hey Vigo, how you doing? 
Hi, Viggo. You had surgeries? Yeah. Hi, Viggo. Hi. Yeah. It's really weird when you have surgery. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that tongue. Yeah. Mm hmm. Brian's just pulling in. <laughs> Can't wait to see his reaction to the snow. Surprise! It snowed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I wore my dress shoes. Yeah. <laughs> How many inches do you think's out there? I thought eight by now, probably a good seven. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Maybe it trailed off. Yeah. It's not snowing right now. Oh, good. Okay. So, well, finally stopped. <laughs> so I'm glad I. Um, Dave asked if I if he should take the backhoe off yesterday. I said no, I'll just leave it. Oh, the backhoe's on the tractor. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, so we can't just. Hook can't up. just hook up the. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. so you can have your appetizer, but really the goods are right in here. Look at that. Mm, delicious. Oh, wow. Chicken soup with everything. Pretty thick. The perfect accompaniment to soup is a little bit of bread and butter. Toast, 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 and butter. Mm. Well, Vico's doing better today. Got an appetite back. That's good. So he had right here a cyst taken out. So this is a the big one he had on his neck. Big incision there, about three, four inches long. So that was pretty infected. So that's what we're dealing with. And he's got his little wrap on his leg from the IV. But overall, after being really spaced out yesterday, he's doing pretty good today. We went for a a mini walk in the snow, came back inside, but. Well, we appreciate all your well wishes for Vigo and we're glad that he's recovering well, getting back to his usual self, <laughs> despite having uh, a few down days where he can't run around like normal. And it was definitely cute seeing him a little bit spaced out with the, uh, <laughs> with the sedatives, but. Yeah, we might even get to check out the snowblower again tomorrow. If the wind hasn't blown away all the snow, that is. It pretty much cleared off half the driveway. So maybe that's a benefit of waiting on doing your snowblowing work when you know you're having a high wind day coming up. And do let us know if you try out the chicken soup. And if you want the recipe, just let me know. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.